prongs. signal. And the trailer be empty. That dang it thing still. That thing needs some grease. Mm. Save. That's it. Well, he said lower the bed. So we're gonna lower the bed. Hey, Jason. You go move that truck out of the way so that Farmer Pete can get through at the combine. We need to set a wagon up because that auger won't hit that grain auger. I guess keep going for fuel. I'm gonna stay here if you'll miss Piggy up. It's so much nicer having an attachment that, that ain't no wider than the tires are. Well, okay. Maybe it's wider by a skosh, but not by much. That makes it, you know, you can still go down the road easy with Cornhead and a 15 foot grain platform, but anything over 15 foot you're gonna be hurting for road width that gun this thing must have been out of fuel man this thing a pig so a little trick you guys may not know is when you hear a click like that It don't matter how low you go with it. In there, you always want to pull it out a little bit until you see it kind of make a little bit of a mess on the, uh, like right there. Kind of let the foam recess a little bit, but not let the foam come out. I'm gonna call that good. 
you can see the foam start to go away and the fuel and with eyesight right there or, yeah the fuel with an eyesight then she's full I know some might cry oh wasted fuel wasted fuel fuel five dollar gallon I'd rather make sure the thing's full than have to run out of fuel kind of just want to make a looky see up here and that's the most stupidest thing that Case IH ever did, and I'm sure that these guys always do. Well, I don't know why you, they make that, because no farmer in their right mind would ever use the uh, pin to pin the auger in. I mean, you go to the field, you turn the head on, boom, you go away. You don't even think to come back here and flip that. I don't even know if there's any guys that have ripped this thing completely off because they for, they put the pin in and transport for the unload auger. Eh. We might as well just let that alone on the side of the hopper there. On the left side of your guys' screen. Because it ain't affecting nothing. next scene you'll see is us going down the road whenever you guys see that yellow triangle please stay behind and don't try to pass there are too many idiots out there that just think they can pass farm equipment and not you know take into consideration that we need as much room as we can to avoid a mailbox on the right side or a telephone pole or someone's driveway just be courteous that's all we ask, and it's all I ask. We feed you guys. I know it's not much, but when Grandma decides that you're getting meatballs for lunch, four sandwiches plus extra. I knew there's a reason why I saved this for supper. And it sounds like my the semi is home. So, <clears throat> I need to hastily eat these. But not choke. Even though, yes, I'm certified. <clears throat> In CPR at first aid training that'd be kind of hard to administer to yourself at least I think so
Here's a thought that just occurred to me. Them people in them houses over there probably hate us. I wouldn't doubt it, or else they're probably used to it by now, living out in the country. We're done for the night. That's it. We're done. A little late night dumping then things. And that's a wrap. <laughs>